Hey dudes, what's up? This is Karan here, back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. Android 11 Beta 2 is finally released for a lot of devices, especially for Pixel devices. It's based as a GSA available for a lot of devices. So if you want to install Android 11 Beta 2 on a device, make sure to watch this video till the end. I'll try to show you which are the things you get in Android 11 Beta 2. And if you're using Redmi Note 8 like me, I'm using Redmi Note 8, my device Kinko. Then you have a ported ROM based on Android 11 so that you can install Android 11 Beta 2 right now on your device. This one is not recommended for a lot of users because it has bugs and it's just beta 2 and not officially released. So just try this on your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything happens to your device. In this video, I'll show you everything in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. Okay guys, as I have already made a review on Android 11 a lot of times, this time we have Android 11 Beta 2, so I'll show you some changes and taking a look at some changes, first of all, let me show you one thing. If you have noticed, when I swipe down the notification panel, my wallpaper is just sliding down. As you can see, wallpaper is just animating and this is pretty much impressive. This is the feature in Android 11 only. It was present in Android 11 Beta 1 also. I just forgotten about that. So I thought I'll show you in this build. As you can see, whenever you swipe down your notification panel, you will see this something like this which is kind of very much interesting and looking pretty much cool. And the thing which I have already shown you in my previous video was this pin feature so that whichever app you will launch from here, like if I launch messages app, I'll see this one here. Sorry, that was just wrong. And now I have opened maps. So let's see if it changed or not. As you can see, it's changed. So if I open files now, it should change to files right now. So as you can see, it's changed to files as it is in beta stage. So maybe some bugs are there. And yes, there are a lot of bugs available. The main bugs like hotspot, Bluetooth media, there are a lot of bugs are available. And another big change is this. They have just adjusted the notification panel to two by three or three by two, whichever else you want to see it. It's changed and one of the thing which I was looking for that is as you have a lot of tiles option, but when you click here, you don't get any option to do resizing of columns and rows. Um, actually, it's just based on pixels. Obviously, no customization options yet. I was expecting that but that was not available that is not available in this build so just don't worry about that you also got the screen recorder option where you get this record audio option to microphone or device audio which is something interesting but you don't get any bitrate option and frame rate or some other things are missing here but still it's in early stage so just don't ask for other things if we talk about the power menu, that's also something interesting. If you've noticed, we have power off and restart option like this. And talking about the recent panel, we have screenshot option and select options. So if we consider, let me just tell you that I have enabled this settings option from here. I'll click on select and now I can select any text from here. This is one of the best feature in Android 11. So suppose I want to copy out this adaptive brightness option. I can simply copy it right now. I can share this text and I can search right now on Google or wherever else I want to. This is very much interesting feature in Android 11 right now. And you also have the option of doing a screenshot as you can see and screenshot when you click on edit option. Here you have all the same features which you get in Android 10 right now. These were kind of things you get here and here you have a new thing save screenshots find it in files or photos you can save that or you can delete that if you want to it will just ask you for the reconfirmation so if i click on delete it's deleted it's looking pretty much impressive and another thing is this the performance that's also perfectly fine nothing is here nothing is changed if we talk about the root this does not support magisk yet so we have to install the super user right now 
If you talk about for routing, you need to use super user and as you can see whenever you install this, you will see this app was built on for older version of Android. So if you're using any other device and if you want to install Android 11 beta 2 and want to root that, you have to install this super user. I'll give you the zip file link in the description so that you can download that from there. And if you want to pin this and this one is a new thing in Android 11 as you can see pin prediction. So let me just pin this and now I have just pinned this option here. Now if I open any app like if I open files now it will not change. If I open feedback now it will not change. It will not change anything from here because we have just pinned it. This looks pretty much impressive and from top left or top bottom left or bottom right I can launch the Google Assistant that was expected also. Moving on to some other things, it still has the developer options for close. Let me just tell you when you go to system and okay, so I have just not enabled it yet. And okay, now build number click here. Now just fill your pattern once. And now whenever I go to developer options, let me just tell you here, developer options are still force closing. This is a bug, this is still not solved, maybe it's because of vendor, so you can try to change out vendor in your device, maybe this will work for you, but for my device, it's still not working. Android 12, Android 11, which is in latest stage, beta 2, is just perfectly fine. If you just want to test it out, you can test it out right now, but still, if you just want to wait for the official one, official stable build, just wait for that, and you need to wait for some more time. This was all from this short and simple video in which I just want to share with you Android 11 Beta 2. So if you're using Redmi Note 8, you can install this build as a port room and download link for your port room is in the description. And if you're using any other device, you can install the GSI. GSI link is also in the description. This was all from today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye. Have a nice day.